there is something about a man that claims to have changed, gets married, and is now a man of the cloth. That is so scary because before he got to those changes, there were a lot of damages that he left on the streets. I don't know which English I want to speak for this, but I am just, woo unto you, Kaspar in your vest. Prayers, prayers, sorrows, sorrows. Nyan, I'm going to wear me bum tabaka tat, bum tabaka coco, bum tabaka anti, bum tabaka sissy. I am Sims and it's as the right Sims on Instagram, so please uh, follow your sister. Today's episode is sponsored by Saint Studios. Shudu and Ndibuti said, hey, Sims, want to hang out with us? And I was like, no, I've got work today. They're like, come work here. Okay, so if you're looking to film your shows, your podcast, hit them up. They have got you covered. This episode will be filmed and edited right here. Now, let us get into today's video. We remember that Casper Nyovest has a child with Utobeka Majosi, popularly known as Bex Does It Better. So, who Casper put Tobega through so much. This was admitted by himself. He went on Mbumi Lidwaba's podcast. He did speak Uguti. Yo, I was such an infidelious man. I used to put my voice here, put my voice there. There was no birth equipment I wasn't testing, okay? I disrespected the mother of my child, okay? But I was addicted to Emmanuel. He was talking about the sexual. I was having different Zoom meetings, you know, and I had to work on myself and find myself and what and what and what. Next thing, Meridia. He married his childhood sweetheart. And we said, hmm, we nana. So you used Tobega as your trial and tribulations. Then you went to your childhood sweetheart for your congratulations. Usibit, kanit. But it, hmm? Anyway, it is Tobeka's birthday and she came out with an Instagram post that has gagged us. I am going to read it verbatim so that this is in her own words as she has written. Let us read it. This birthday hits different. The last few years have been something. And looking back now, I am filled with gratitude. Who would have thought I'd be here? Not in pieces, but in peace. The tears that were once in silent are now from laughing out loud. I'm actually in awe of the goodness of God. How am I so deserving of this unconditional love? His covering and grace. Even when I was unfaithful to him, he remained faithful to me. I've always heard God is found in certain locations. I didn't know I'd find him at my lowest and most broken. At eight months, my son was diagnosed with cancer. An entire different world. I always stood on protection and privacy, trying to maintain the world. And my world was a marathon on its own. I lived in an oncology hospital for two years with my son as he underwent chemotherapy and life-threatening surgeries. In the depth of fighting cancer, I was hit with a curveball of infidelity. The woman knew my son, the woman knew me, my son's condition, and made no mistake with flaunting their relationship. After finding out, he ended things with her and tried to amend things with me. I couldn't trust someone who can hurt me at my lowest 
or allow another woman to disrespect his woman. Considering everything we had been through, it was more of the timing than the infidelity. He later married her. Upuleng. In between home, discharges, and new projects I started, I had to stop my life, put aside my own emotions, and show up for my baby. At the time, his health was more important than my heart. One thing we will do is enjoy the world. Faith and family were the remedy. Oh, I'm singing it. I lost. Sorry. Faith and family was the remedy to everything. Both families understood the mandate. Living and loving is what we stand on. Landed in the center of God's hands. He had me exactly where he needed me. I gave my life to Jesus. I entered the era of isolation. He placed in me in his secret place. He placed me in his secret place. He worked on my character, renewed my mind, restored my heart. The work hasn't stopped. I did too. Oh, I die to self daily. He continues to mold me as the perfect potter he is. I'm fully in my Jesus era, walking in love and forgiveness. Most days are better than others, yet peace remains. I'm yet to see what God has for me. More reason to celebrate life. Today, my son is cancer-free, and it is all glory to God. What a lady. What a mother. Mamela. Ebona Tobega and Mary Jane can write books on how to remain when the world is crashing down, when social media is going ablaze. Seeing your man who is not your man anymore move on with his life while he tries, while he tries so hard to keep the skin image yak, while he tries so hard to make himself beautiful. You sit there and say absolutely nothing. I am in awe of this woman, guys. I am in awe, and more than anything, I am so happy that her son is now cancer-free. She is a renewed soul. And more than anything, nowhere does she bashes Ukaspa. Nowhere does she say, Ukaspa, what? Hey, hey. I couldn't trust someone that was unfaithful to me at my lowest. She's leaving us to do the work. Who you Yeah. Guys, I will see you on the next video. Hey, Sihua, sing Paddy Lesham. I told me we are Pala. I know Shakespeare, Shem. Never sing it in your Ah, my sister. No, I know. Umut. This girl is gorgeous, guys. She's a gorgeous human being, okay? Let's talk in the comment section down below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.